Good afternoon, class. So in today's video, what I wanted to do was point out several bits of physics using this part of the river. So you've got the current going this way, and as we saw from the last few videos, which are over here, there are there are some standing sto I mean, there are some standing waves which we've already determined are because of rocks. So the, the, we have some rapids over here clearly, and of course you can tell because there are some rocks over here. But some of the other physics that I'd like to point out, we've got a nice current in the middle, but do you notice over on the side over here, it gets a little bit more spread out. So what this tells you is it's another example of Bernoulli's principle. Over here, the, the, pr the water is moving very fast because it's funneled into that fairly narrow gap over there. But over there, it starts to spread out, so the water starts to slow down right towards the edges, or, the, or what they might call the shallows of the river. Um, over here, what you'll notice is there's some destructive interference going on, right? So there's constructive interference because all these tons of water are moving this way, um, flowing in all the way up to the, even these rapids over there where there's a loss of, uh, where there's a loss of po gravitational potential energy but a gain in kinetic energy, but also some destructive interference because as you can see, constructive, everything is flowing in the same direction, improving the amplitude, and destructive where everything is kind of churning over there. You see some destructive interference over here, but there's also some reflection. So, there, and where, so where's that destructive interference coming from? There's a bunch of water coming this way, but it's hitting this rock, so it's starting to reflect off this way as well. As, as you notice, it's kind of it can kind of bounce back a little bit, causing that destructive interference and slowing the overall speed of the river. However, the big thing that I wanted to show you was not just that, not just that this river moves like that, but sometimes not only can the river slow, but sometimes the river can actually turn around and go the opposite direction. So right now we're going this way and then this way, but sometimes the river can start to go back up this way. And as you can see it right over here. So the river is coming down over here this way, but the river is moving backwards this way. So I can't tell you exactly why, but I'll, my best guess is because of that destructive and, and constructive interference, because we're at a bend in the river, this is where the, the destructive interference starts to amplify and get constructive interference enough so that it goes in the exact opposite direction. So it, it will move all the way along this bank in the opposite direction, basically upriver instead of downriver like this. And of course, you've got shallows over there as well. But because of that, all of that destructive interference over there, it's starting to, start, those amplitudes are starting to add up as they go back in the opposite direction. So I thought I'd point that out as a little bit of a video, and if you, just as an appreciation of nature, because even though you can see a whole bunch of nature over here, and it looks like it's just one uniform river, there, there were at least three to four different phys physics concepts that I could go over just with one river. So. Thought I'd point that out. Study hard. I'll see you in the next video.